What is up guys, Itch of Masters here, and today we are back with a Bionicle 2016 review. This time it is on a Kier Creature of Fire. Six ages six to twelve. I remember seven one three zero three and it has seventy-seven pieces. The back just shows off the uh, unity mode and some of the features. And then the top does have some of the symbols. I'm not sure which one is the new one and which one's the new one. Alright, now before we take a look at IKEA, we're just going to take a quick look at the Shadow Trap. Now, one thing that's really unique about this one, and this one only, is there's a blue eye. I don't know why it's not red. Maybe it's because of this kind of like trans orange red, but it wouldn't really like affect the dark trans red uh, piece over here. And on the back, there's just this weird pin. No reason why it's there other than just to connect this. But it's it's just it's kind of it's kind of weird. Why I don't know why they didn't attach anything there. And of course, shadow trap opens up. It closes. Very cool. And that is pretty much it for the shadow trap. So now let's take a look at IKEA. All right. So here is IKEA completely built up. Now the first thing I'm going to take a look at is his function. So simply with his function, all you do is you take this back and you just move it up and down and it gives a flapping motion just like Uxar and if you have him kind of like this, it's exactly the same. However, I don't know, I, I just prefer Uxar's more, I don't really know what it is. But I just prefer it more because normally he's going to be in the standing mode and it just, it's kind of cool. It, it does come out and it looks really unique. I'll say that, but I don't know. I don't really like this one. I don't know. There's, they're basically the same, but there's just something about this that I don't really like. And also, you can get some posability out of just this portion, which is, it's nice, but... I mean, Uxar had a little bit more with the, the wings, but you can also move these kind of in any di direction. So I do think he has some better, like, mo movements for the wings. You can really do a lot. Alright, so now I'm just going to take a quick look at his legs and body. Now, the first thing is open ball joints. Some people may not like that. Personally, I, I don't care. Now, his legs... They're very interesting because for his feet, you have this over here. And at first you may think, why exactly is that there? But the reason why they have that there is if you have the wings kind of like this and you decide, I'm just gonna place this up, Ikea will, will fall. However, if you put this over here, Ikea will not fall. So it's a uh, very smart thing that they have done there. And it's just a few extra pieces and it's, it's very nice that they did that. They avoided a very dumb con that could have been like a huge deal for the sets. Alright, so here is Ikir's head. Now, obviously it's the exact same as all of the other creatures except for the trans red and the gold. And just the same deal. Some people do not like how the eyes are just in and there's not really like a color. And some people also don't like how it's hollow. But I, I don't mind it just because it's meant for a function. And there is the kind of like clip on for exo harms and the little like pin to add like horns. So that is pretty much it for IKEA. Overall, for $10, he's a pretty good set. Uh, one of the things I don't like about him is I don't really like how the function is basically similar, but the build is very good and some of the parts are good for just mocking. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Feel free to leave your opinion in the comment section below, whether you disagree or agree. And until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.